For more than 30 years, Symer has been designing and manufacturing deep ultraviolet light sources that are used to pattern the vast majority of the world's microchips. It is thanks to these amazing machines that our favorite electronic devices exist as we know them today. But what sets these machines apart from other light sources? And why are these machines so important to the world? Far from the standard light bulbs we are familiar with in our homes, the latest Symer light sources weigh over 6,800 pounds and are roughly the size of three large refrigerators positioned side by side. Rather than emitting light in the visible spectrum, these machines produce deep ultraviolet light. That means that the light that leaves these sources is completely invisible to the naked eye. What's more is that the light that is produced must meet rigid industry requirements. Symer's light sources produce accurate, precise, and reliably consistent results for manufacturers that enable the creation of chips used in practically every part of your daily life. So how is this performance achieved within these amazing machines? Let's take a look. It all begins in the master oscillator chamber. Within this chamber, argon fluoride gas is excited by discharging electrical energy at a rate of 6,000 times per second. That means that a Symer light source generates 2,000 pulses of light and the average time it takes us to blink just one time. After this light is produced, it passes through the next important step in its journey, the line narrowing module. In this step, the light is filtered and conditioned by an array of carefully engineered optics to deliver specific wavelengths, or narrow bandwidth, needed to pattern a microchip. From this stage, the light is sent to the line center analysis module, where the wavelength of the light and the amount of energy produced are measured. After passing this point, it takes two sharp turns to redirect the light into the next important step. This step directs the light into the power ring amplifier chamber. This chamber amplifies the light generated and selected in the previous steps and produces a pulse of light that is 10 to 20 times higher in energy. It is at this point that the light is passed through the bandwidth analysis module, or BAM for short. This module makes certain that the light is stable to ensure that the microchips are in focus. After leaving the BAM, the light is passed through the optical pulse stretcher, or OPUS for short. The OPUS uses a long array of optics to stretch the beam duration and delivers a continuous beam of 193 nanometer wavelength light. This high energy, narrow bandwidth light is passed from the light source to the scanner, a separate piece of equipment that uses this light to create circuit patterns on silicon wafers. These pattern wafers contain hundreds to thousands of devices that are then cut to produce the individual microchips that power the electronic products we use every day. This is why light is such an important aspect to our digital world and how Symer and ASML are driving forward Moore's Law and the entire semiconductor industry. Symer and ASML, making Moore's Law and your everyday possible.